Right, hello everyone, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com and I created this program out here to help ScrappyDoo customers as far as our patterns are concerned. And so I developed this program called Scrappy List. Now when you first open up the program, you're going to see a blank screen because your database is basically empty now because you need to sync it. So we're going to go over here to Data Sync and what this will do is it will connect to our online database it will pull every single pattern that we currently have in our library as far as text goes no patterns are coming with this but it will automatically pull all that data and it will store it on a local database on your computer so as you can see it connected to the online database it uh, imported everything and now the sync is complete down here you'll see that uh, as of right now we have 431 patterns in the scrappy dude library and you have 431 now in your database. Now when we come out with new patterns, you're going to have to come back here and click the sync database in order to make sure that your database is up to date as far as the patterns go. Okay, so now that is complete. We can go back to scrappy list. All right, so on the scrappy list, uh, you can see it's still blank, so we need to click the refresh button to make sure that we have the most current database displayed here in this, uh, this little table. So when you click on an item, you'll notice over here that the preview window will appear with the current pattern. It also has the price, and it has the current status of the pattern. So there's three types of statuses that you can have. You can say you don't own it. You can click on here and say that you do own it. And then you can put it on a wish list. So say you wanted this pattern here, but uh, you wanted to wait a little later to purchase. So you can add it to your wish list. You know, and, and the more you add to the wish list, you know, it will grow that list. So when you go over here to filter, you can say, I want to only see my wish list items. And then you can come down here and click the purchase in the store. And this will open up a web browser and it will go to the actual item so you can add it to your cart online. So that's a quick, nice tip to have. So I'm going to go ahead and show everything. All right, so you have the filter here. You can, like I said, you can filter the wish list. You can, you can view the patterns that you own. You know, so if I go to filter and owned, it will only show the files that I own. Okay, and then you can also go here and see all the stuff that you don't own, and you can see the 30 latest patterns that we have came out with. So it's uh, three great quick filter items. Now say that. Uh, over here you have purchased our beach Santa so I'm just gonna go ahead and filter with the beach and all the all the titles here that have beach in it will be displayed so I'm gonna select the beach Santa and I'm gonna say I now own this so I'm gonna click the own and then, now you'll see this down here a pattern folder status so say you own it and say you have the Beach Santa. So I'm going to minimize this. So I have the Beach Santa over here. And I can just take this folder. Now this only works with folders. And I can drag it down here. And it will turn green if it accepted it. So later on, I can close that window. And I can say, hey, I want to work on my Beach Santa pattern today. I can go over here. And I can click the Open Pattern folder. And it displays every single... Um, Thing associated with that folder all right so something to note with the folder if that folder happens to move this program will not track any movement but it will however I'm just going to show you real quick that if I do move this folder to another folder and I go back over here it's going to show up red because that folder has moved so that would be a reason why you would see this red instead of green if you placed a folder in here Okay. So all right, so something to note with the uh with the filter, it's it's basically searching for um uh, the name that's in the item name here. And it's not searching for like if I typed beach and a dog, nothing's gonna show up because there's nothing named beach and a dog in the title. So that's something to note when you're doing your search. And over here it will tell you the file types that are included just in case. Uh, you're you're searching through our store and you want to know, hey, is does this file have 
you know, a WPC file, or does this file come with a make the cut file? So we try to make this as easy as possible to use. And uh, another thing to note is you do need to have internet connection in order to view the photos as well as to purchase anything because all the, fo all the photos are currently on our Scrappy-Doo servers and not actually physically on your hard drive. So with that, I hope you enjoy this program. I hope that you use the program. And if you'd like to see any additions to it, feel free to send us an email at, uh, you can go ahead and go up here and go to the support and send us your support requests. So then I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com and I'll see you next time. Thank you.